Here is a quick DIY on how to replace fuel injectors on an M50 powered BMW. All you're going to need to do this is 12 O-rings, the six injectors, and a 10 millimeter and 13 millimeter socket. So to start off, if you're using old fuel injectors, we found it best to take a pick to remove this top O-ring and to use some sort of cutting utensil to remove this bottom one so that you don't damage the tip of the fuel injector. After that, you're gonna take new O-rings and you're gonna lubricate them with oil or a silicone-based grease and throw on the new O-rings. So in order to remove the engine cover, there are two little tabs you need to pop off. You can slide them with a flathead screwdriver and then there are 10 millimeter bolts underneath. To remove the fuel rail cover, there are two 10 millimeter bolts on top. Next up, using a 13 millimeter, you want to come and undo the ground side of the battery. Make sure that your key is not in the car when you disconnect the battery. Next up to remove the fuel rail, you're gonna come and undo the two 10 millimeter bolts on top. All right, next you're gonna to wanna to come and take off this ground wire. This is just a 13 millimeter. Uh, next you need to take off this breather hose, so you can just pop up this tab and pull it right out. Next you're going to come down here and undo this little hose clamp attaching the fuel line to the fuel rail. To make this easier, you can take off the fuel line in the back along with the little hose line. However, reaching the hose clamp on that back fuel line is very tedious and we opted not to do it. It still works without it, it's just a little bit more tedious and you have to like wedge the uh, fuel rail up and like work at it at an angle. So working with injectors six and five is pretty difficult, but it's still doable. Now in order to remove the injectors from the car, it's literally as simple as just pulling the fuel rail up. So you wanna grab from the back, the middle, and the front, and just pull up in equal increments, and eventually the whole thing will just pop out. So this clip is what's holding in the electrical connection to the fuel injector, that is right there. Uh, what you're gonna have to do is just use a flathead screwdriver. You're gonna be able to kind of like lodge this outwards and it'll pop off just like this. You need to do this for all six injectors and then the wiring harness will pop right off. Once you get the wiring harness clips off of the fuel injectors, you will be able to just pull this right off. If you undo these small 10 millimeter bolts, uh, it comes off a lot easier. It gives you more wiggle room to work with. All right, now to get the fuel injectors off, you're just gonna take this little clip right here with two fingers and slide it off just like that. And then using a good amount of force, you can just pull the injector out of the fuel rail. In order to reassemble the injector system, first you want to press the injectors back into the fuel rail and slide those black metal clips back on. Then you're gonna to want to come and press the wiring harness back onto the injectors and then slide those clips on from underneath. Once that is all back assembled, you can press the entire system of six injectors back into the engine. Once you've pressed the injectors back in, uh, make sure you can visibly see that those little yellow rings are below the, like, the little snout that sticks out of the engine block. This ensures that there's no leakage and the injectors will operate properly. 
Once you've ensured that the coil packs are seated correctly, you can go in and replug the PCV hose, tighten down the 13mm with the ground strap, plug back in the fuel line for, that connects to the fuel rail, then you want to tighten down all those bolts that were associated with the coil pack wiring harnesses. Then you can go and put back on all the 10 millimeters around the car and put your engine covers back on.